I've committed a huge mistake in the garden by leaving my compost just sitting here for about a year and a half living on this property. So today I'm gonna to remedy that and we're gonna be building an epic compost bin using some very simple tools to build five bays here at the homestead. A home compost bin is far and away one of the most effective ways to recycle your garden scraps, your food scraps, really any organic matter through a system and then apply it back to your garden. A lot of materials here, but before we get into that, let's talk about how to site your compost bin. So I'm not gonna be putting it right in the middle of the garden, of course, but I do want it to be close to the garden. So I've got a spot that I've picked right over here by the chicken coop and we've cleared this spot out and I need a little help to explain this, so I'm gonna summon the garden hermit. And here he is. It's time to build a compost bin. Let's do it. So Jacques helped out on this build. Now, the site of your bin is extremely important. Yeah. So we have it next to our back garden here, next to the chicken coop, which is of course important for us because cleaning that litter out directly into the bins is gonna be a key. And then against this back wall, and this is gonna be quite a long bin. The traditional <laughs> bins are three by three by three, just one bin. This is gonna be basically five of those. So we've cleared out roughly 16 to 20 feet along this edge here, and we'll bring it off about six inches or so, Jacques. Yeah, perfect. That and way that, it's not on the wall, right? Exactly, we don't want to butt it up against the wall, have moisture pockets and rot out the wood, especially since we chose Douglas fir, which is good, but not incredible wood. So it's a little more prone to rotting out. Absolutely. So what we need to do now is get to cutting. Here we are at the cutting station and there are quite a few cuts to be made and we're gonna start by doing the front first. So the basic design is a two by four for the verticals and then one by six is for slats, both on the fronts, the sides, and then the back as well. Yep. And those slats are gonna have a tiny little gap between them for airflow. Safety glasses on, Jacques got his shades on. As we cut up this wood, let me just say this, you can just build this from pallets. That's totally okay. So if you've got a Bonds or a Safeway or a Ralph's, maybe even an Air One, although those pallets probably cost $700, you can just go behind the back, see if you can grab some and stand up a really simple compost bin. We're using two by fours and one by sixes here. And the whole build came in at about $450 to $500. So it's pretty dang cheap for a five bin system. But if you're looking for the ultimate budget play, build it from pallets. We are all caught up, my friends, and it is time now to build out a panel. So the simplest way to show you how this works is really just gonna be to build one of the side panels because that is the most complex part of the build and it's just duplicated six times and then you just put a front and back yeah, on. Yeah, these are basically the walls for every bay. It's the whole thing in effect. So <laughs> yeah. here's what we have. This is looking from back to front and what we need to do is then just put our one by six side panels on. So for every panel, we're gonna basically make a sandwich of two by fours and two by sixes. We'll explain why that side's two by six later. But now that we have everything lined up, we're just gonna basically put two, two screws into each plank and yeah. that's gonna create a very rigid structure. Tight structure with a lot of airflow. We're using low profile cabinet screws that are quite long and thin. So we don't wanna split the wood, but also they help to pull the wood together since we're doing this sandwich move. Okay, one side is in. We're gonna put the two by six on the other side. Same idea here, just a sandwich. Our first panel is built. And just to show you how it's gonna work, this is gonna be the back of the bin. It's gonna roll up to the front. And then what we're gonna do after we build five more of these panels is put on the apparatus to slide in the front slats and another post to keep this from moving at all once we finally set it. Our panels are built. Now begins the process of actually stitching these together. So we've actually flipped it on its face and we're gonna build the back right now. It's a pretty simple process. We're just taking the one by sixes and laying them across. And when we run out of space, we're just gonna cut a piece and add that to it. The only thing we're doing here that's a little unique is just putting a two by four on the bottom because it's a bit more sturdy piece of wood. It's gonna be in contact with the soil. So maybe it'll prevent it from rotting out a little bit longer. The moment has come. This is the back. So we have to move the whole thing out and then do the epic rotation and see if we've actually created a compost bin that makes any sense at all. You ready guys? By the way, we have a new entrant on the channel, Paul. He's helping out around the garden here and there. And he is also helping with our flip. Ooh. <laughs> Let's just admire that. That actually works. Yeah. 
Now we just need to level it out. After leveling out, we discovered one final bonus tip, epic tip that you might want to do with a design like this. You'll notice there's no cross braces on the front. We just used some U posts and screwed those into the front and tapped them into the soil to make sure it was nice and sturdy. The flip went successfully. It looks amazing. The only thing we need to do now is put on the front panels, which are actually going to be solid to prevent material from flying out. So the way that we have decided to do this is basically using some two by twos to create a channel to drop in the one by six panel. So if you take a look at how this will work, once we screw in this side, you have a little bit of play, which is fine, but you'll just end up dropping it down and then just stacking these upon each other. So all we're gonna do now is actually assemble the other side. So the way we decided to do this, just create a one inch spacer to make life a little bit easier and then clamp it down and then in we go. Pop those clamps off. Let's say you've finished a bin up. All you'll really need to do is just drop in these panels and they'll fall down perfectly in place. They actually help keep the rigidity of the structure as well. Just have to do the rest. And there you have it, a five bin compost system the inaugural material will be the sawdust from this project itself. Guys, a very simple project to build and very flexible. We'll put the cut list in the description. Stay tuned, there's some upgrades coming to the bin as well as a video on how to build out your very first compost pile. So stay tuned, subscribe, good luck in the garden, and keep on growing.